Opposition leader Don Poilier is calling on the government to recoup the money which was lost through the alleged illegal defence land dealings worth close to 80 million kina. Prime Minister Pete O'Neill says the accounts involved in the transactions have been frozen. The government is seeking legal advice on how it can proceed further to get back the monies. Bradley Gregory reports. The alleged illegal transactions involving senior state ministers and bureaucrats over purchase of land for defense relocation totaled close to 80 million kina. It was perhaps not public knowledge until the question was asked in parliament. This prompted Prime Minister Peter O'Neill to make decisions to sideline two senior state ministers and public servants concerned as moves get underway to establish a commission of inquiry. However, the transactions have already been processed and opposition leader Don Polier says the huge sums of money must be returned. So when a leader is alleged, when a leader is implicated, a leader must automatically step aside, must resign from the post. There is quality leadership. And I see Minister Duma and Minister Peben Pork doing that is a move in the right direction. But that is not complete yet. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done. If the money that was acquired through the acquisition of the land is illegally, incorrectly, inappropriately acquired by those companies, I call that the monies must be returned immediately. Recouping the money back may be hard to do. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill says they have frozen accounts. Seeking legal advice, how we can freeze some of the funds that we have already uh, stopped being transferred from one bank to the other. Uh, uh, to protect public interest. Uh, uh, we have to do it uh, in a uh, uh, legally acceptable manner. Uh, these are directions that are beyond my powers. Opposition leader Don Polier has further questioned the role of businesses that belong to the state and public funds, which are parked under the Kumul Consolidate Holdings Limited, which should be used transparently on service delivery. Bradley Gregory, NBC National News, Port Mosby.